hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the get product details api with the reviews and faqs in our backend application and in today's video we will create a page and we will call this api and we will show the product details to the user so let's get started in our angular application we need to create a component first so we will open our customer module and we will open this components folder in the integrated terminal and here we will give the command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and we need to name this component as view product detail our component is ready now let's open customer's routing file and here we need to create the route for the new page and to do that we can duplicate this existing review route and in the path we need to replace the review with the product and then we will mention the product id as variable and for the component we will update it to view product detail component now let's save this file now after this let's open our services package and we will open our customer service and here we need to create the api call and we will write a new method and we will name this method as get product detail by id and in the param we will mention product id of type number and then this method will return observable of type any now let's copy this code to call the api and let's paste it here and for the url we need to replace ordered product with the product and after this we will pass this product id here as the path variable our get product detail by id api call is completed now let's save this file and let's open our components folder and here we will open the ts file of view product detail component in this component first of all we will create the constructor and in the constructor first of all we need to inject the mat snack bar to show the messages and after this we will inject the customer service to make api calls and then we need to inject the activated route to get the product id from the url now let's click on quick fix and add all missing imports now we need to get the product id from the url and for that we will create a variable product id of type number and we will use our activated route dot snapshot and after this we will use dot params and here we need to mention the variable which is product id and after this we need to store the product details after getting the response from the api so we will create a variable and we will name this as product and after this we will create a variable for the faqs and we will initialize it with an empty array and after this we will create another variable to store the reviews now we need to write a method to call the api and we will name this method as get product details by id and in this method we will use our customer service and we will call get product details by id method and in the params we will send this dot product id and then we will subscribe the response and we will write an arrow function and after getting the response we need to set the values in our variables so we will call this dot product is equals to rest dot product dto and after this to show the product image to the user we need to add a string in it so we will use this dot product dot processed image is equals to and we will paste our string which we want to attach and after this we will get the image from the response so we can write rest dot product dto dot returned image after the image let's set the faqs and we will call rest dot faq dto list now we need to set the reviews and to do that we will call rest dot review dto list 
to access the reviews and then we will apply for each loop on it and let's remove this array and like the image of the product we need to process the image of the review as well so we will write element dot processed image is equals to and let's copy the same code from here and paste it here and after this we will call element dot returned image and at the end we will call our reviews dot push method and we will pass the element our get product details by id method is completed now let's write the ng on init method for this component and in this method we will call this get product details by id method our ts code is completed now let's save this file and let's open our html file in this html file we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of center container and we will write ng if and we will check if we have product then only we will show this div in this div let's write an other div and give it a class of product card and in this div tag first of all we need to show the product image so we will write an other div and in the image tag for the source we will bind it with the product dot processed image now for the other details of the product let's write another div tag and give it a class of product details and here we will show the name of the product and we will write an h2 tag and we will access product dot name after the name we will show the product description and after the product description we will show the price and after the price we will show the category our product details section is completed now let's write one h1 tag and in the text we will write customer reviews and we will show only if we have at least one review in the response and after this let's write a div tag and let's give it a class of review list and in this div tag we will write an other div and we will give it a class of center container and inside this center container let's write an other div and let's use ng for loop and inside ng for loop we will write let review of reviews and in this div first of all we need to show the image so we will use image tag and in the source we will bind review dot processed image after this div let's write an other div tag and give it a class of review details and in this div first of all we will show the description of the review and then we will show the rating and the username our review section is completed as well now on the bottom let's write one h1 tag and for the text we will write frequently asked question and we will only show this h1 tag if we have at least one faq in the response after this let's write two div tags and then we will write an other div tag and we will write ng for loop in it and we will iterate through our faqs and in this div we will write the p tags to show the question and then the answer our html file is completed now let's save this file and let's open our css file and i will paste the styling code you can pause the video and copy the css code or you can write your own code now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors but before going to the browser let's open our dashboard component and here we need to add the router link so we can redirect the user to our product detail page and to do that we need to add a router link for this h2 tag and the product name and for the path we will pass it as slash customer slash product and then we will pass the product id now let's save this file and let's go to the browser after adding the login details let's click on the login button and now let's click on the name of this product and you can see we got redirected to the product details page where we can see the product details then reviews and then frequently asked questions now let's fix this image bug 
and to fix the image bug let's open the ts file of our product detail component and here instead of the returned image we need to access the byte image now let's save this file and you can see here now it is working fine that's it for this video in the next video we will create an api call to add this product in the wishlist